Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and today I am back with a quick card process or card tutorial video for you. The card I'm going to be creating today is this Greetings from Nebraska card and what I have done is I have used the outline of the state of Nebraska as a shaker window in my card. Now if you know anybody from Nebraska you know that they are pretty die-hard Cornhuskers fan and their color is red so that's why I chose the shaker bits inside and my card base today. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is a look at some of the supplies I'll be using in today's video. I did not show the sequins or the adhesive I use but you'll see that later in the video and if you have any questions feel free to ask. For the placement of my Nebraska die, I just eyeballed it as best as I could and I had a little piece of repositionable scotch tape there at the top to hold it down while I ran it through the die cutting machine. I decided to emboss this piece with the dots embossing folder and I thought that because my sentiment was going to be on a white banner strip, adding the dimension to this piece would kind of differentiate between the two whites and add some texture to the card. For the shaker window I cut a scrap of clear cardstock to fit behind the die cut Nebraska. Once I have that adhered on there, you'll see me pull out my large roll of foam tape and just go right around the edge of the die cut area. I've been asked a lot about my big roll of foam tape. Um, I actually got this from my sister and she used to have a craft store and she sold it there. Unfortunately, the company that she bought it from is no longer in business, but I have found something that looks similar on Amazon, so I will link that product below. For my shaker bits, I pulled out some chunky red glitter from Michaels, some red normal size sequins, and then some silver mini sequins. Once I had all of my shaker bits in the foam tape area, I cut a scrap of white cardstock, pulled off the release paper from the tape, and then adhered that to the back of my die cut shape to finish off that shaker window. To adhere this top piece to my card base, I put a few foam squares on the back of my die cut piece. And now it's time to finish off the card with the die cut sentiment. I created these on my computer using InDesign, but you could create it with Word or Google Docs or anything you have access to. Just make sure that your text fits within the die cut area. I did have a few different sentiments or sayings on here, like with love from Nebraska, greetings from Nebraska, so grateful in Nebraska, happy birthday from Nebraska. And I thought that I could just make the bases and then when I need to send out a card, I could find an appropriate message. Once I had my sentiment cut out, I used some mini glue dots to adhere that to the front of the card. And you'll see me, I had to adjust it before I got it just right there on the front. Thank you. 
welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little look at how I created my With Love from Nebraska shaker card today. If you did enjoy getting a peek at that, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up below. If you are not a subscriber yet and you would like to know when I upload more videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below or here in just a little bit, a picture of my face will pop up in the center of the video and you can click on that and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those down below. Hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.